Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing a review of a horror film from Wales, English language, released in the year 2006, directed by Julian Richards, and this film is called Summer Scars. Summer Scars basically revolves around a group of teenagers. They are troublemakers. They've just stolen a scooter, and they've retreated to the woods where they're going to have a bit of fun. So this is their usual sort of hangout spot, and today is going to be like unlike any other day because this is where they come across a drifter. Now this drifter appears to be friendly enough, but he's very strange. He says that he's lost his dog named Jesus and that he needs help. So the kids uh, volunteer to help him. They go around looking for the dog, but they can't find it. So they come back to their ha um, hangout, and this is where the adult decides to join these kids. He starts to know a little bit more about them, and he starts to introduce himself a little bit more. But the more he introduces himself, the weirder the situation gets. And before the kids realize that this drifter is, in fact, a deranged weirdo, it's already too late because he has them in his clutches, and he is going to manipulate them in a very psychological sort of horrifying way. So what started off as a fun sort of trip into the woods has turned out to be a psychological battleground in which the kids will not come away from this uh, the same. So what happens to them is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Summer Scars. Now I was sceptical coming to this one because Julian Richards, the director, he directed another film three years or four years earlier called The Last Horror Movie. Now, The Last Horror Movie, I've also reviewed that. I didn't like that at all. I thought it was a very shallow experience, and I just thought that movie had no control. So four years on, he's made Summer Scars, and although I was sceptical, I was hoping that he would take note of the mistakes he made in The Last Horror Movie and make this into a more... Uh, you know, substantial type of film, more more substance over style, so to say. Unfortunately, this movie is just as bad as the, the last horror movie because it suffers from the same mistakes that was made four years earlier, which is the most disappointing thing. Now, it is a very shallow experience. It actually feels like a film that was made for television, and it also feels like a darker sort of soap opera episode in that the acting is not very good. The children, you don't connect with them, you don't relate to them, they come across as very snobbish, very irritating. Uh, the acting from the actual cast is not very good, so you never really believe the situation. You can't put yourself in their shoes and you just don't care what happens to them. And unfortunately the movie doesn't really have any threat to it. Now it is a horror movie, it had the grounds to be a horrifying film because there are some disturbing sort of themes that the film depicts. But it's never done in a way where you truly feel scared because of the fact the casting was all wrong. Now, Kevin Howarth, he plays the villain. Don't get me wrong, he is a good actor, but he doesn't suit the role of what Julian Richards gives him. Now, in this movie, he's the deranged weirdo. Yes, you kind of feel to yourself that he is weird, but he just doesn't have any intimidating value. You don't feel that he's going to go over the line and kill these kids. You just feel like he is this weirdo who is just making them feel uncomfortable, but that's as far as it goes. So because you don't get any intimidating quality from the villain, you don't fear him because you feel like he's too scared to go that extra distance. And it was the same with the last horror movie. Yes, he was a serial killer, in that film, but you never felt like it was believable. You didn't feel like this guy's a serial killer. You just felt like this guy was acting and trying to be a serial killer. And this movie too, he does a better job in this movie because, as I said, he seems weird, but as far as a killer, as far as someone to genuinely fear, I wouldn't say this was the best casting choice. Now, he is a good actor, but as far as this film is concerned, I just thought it was a little bit out of place because he comes across as the type of guy that you could just push away. And that, I thought, was another downfall to the film. Uh, another one I hated was the fact that the soundtrack was incredibly irritating. I absolutely hate rap. Uh, if you're a fan of rap, you might be able to uh, put up with it a little bit more. Uh, but for me, I just thought it was irritating, and it matched the film. It was an irritating film because it feels like it it's going along at just meandering along. It doesn't realise the potential the film has. And because that potential is never realised, it feels like a very empty experience, and it's an experience that you're going to forget a few hours after watching it. Now, as I said, there are glimpses of disturbing element, but it feels like it's too scared to go that extra distance. It's too scared to provoke the audience. I don't know what reason that is. Maybe they wanted it to appeal to a wider audience or the director just didn't want to be provocative. He didn't want to be labelled as a sicko, which is disappointing because in horror films, I think that's what you need to do. Push the boundaries, break the boundaries, make people upset. But this movie never really feels like it goes that distance. It feels like it gets to the point where it's about to leap over into a very disturbing element, but it never realises it. It feels like it's just dangling in front of them, um, but they just can't quite grasp, uh, grasp it. 
So that was the biggest disappointment of it because uh, underneath the solid, the foundation was there to make a very memorable film, but it's never realised. Now, another problem with the movie was the fact that it goes for 73 minutes. Now, usually that's not a problem because it's over. You know, a very you know, um, wham, bam, thank you, man kind of film. But it feels like it goes for a lot longer than 73 minutes. And that's down to the fact that it has a little bit of character development, but you don't care about the characters. So when this development is happening, you want to see these characters die. So when you get more insight into these characters, you think to yourself, well, this is just stalling. Why do I care what happens to these people? This is the wrong type of horror film. It should be a slasher movie where you just see them being dispatched in the most horrible way possible. But the director wants to make it a psychological thriller. And because you don't connect with the characters, it feels like a waste of time. So you're just waiting for the really bad moments to happen, but the bad moments aren't satisfying. So you feel to yourself that you've waited all this time for nothing. And for 73 minutes, that is a problem because, you know, it is a very quick runtime. But if a film that goes for 73 minutes feels like it goes longer, then there is a problem with the pacing. And unfortunately, the pacing was quite poor. So overall, what you get from this film is just a very forgettable experience. It's not the worst film I've ever seen. I like the setting of being in the woods. I like the, the, the thought of this much older man manipulating these young kids, turning them, you know, against each other. There's a little bit of a stand-by-me element to it. But it, there's just not enough depth for you to care. You don't invest your time into the characters and the story. And in the end, as I said, what you get is just a very shallow experience. And it's an experience that I had with Julian Rich's previous film. So that was very disappointing. And as a result of all that, I'm only going to give Summer Scars one and a half stars. Alright guys, it's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies. And I'll see you later.